Uh, so this example three is basically the same soil profile. So you have that 20 feet of soft clay and uh, you have basically this 10 feet of sandy field to be placed on top. So you're preloading the same site. The only difference is the clay is different this time. So the consolidation data. So we have different set of data here. So you have different slopes, different pre-consolidation pressure and different initial void ratio. Okay. So let's do a quick calculation first for this example. So let's first calculate initial effective stress at the sampling location. So we're going to calculate effective stress before you put the sandy field on top, then the effective stress after the load is put on top, and then calculate the consolidation settlement. Okay. So initial effective stress sigma naught prime. Okay. And again, same uh, saturated clay layer. So we have 10. So that's the depth of the sample at the middle times the saturate or buoyant unit weight. So that's your initial effective stress 10 times 100 minus 62.4. Okay. And this is 376 pound per square foot. Okay. So the initial effective stress is the same as example two. So we have this 376 value. And then the Change in effective stress is basically the weight of the sandy field on top. That is also the same as previous example. So we have 10 feet of uh, moist sand on top. Okay. So 10 times 120, so that's 1200. So that is the same as the uh, first example. Then the final one, of course, is the same. So sigma F, after the sandy field is placed on top, it's just sum of these two. So we have these uh, three values. And then to calculate the settlement, consolidation settlement, so we need to compare the effective stress with pre-consolidation pressure, basically to see which portion of the curve the clay is on. Okay. So if we compare these three values, sigma naught prime, sigma F prime, and pre-consolidation sigma C prime, so we notice that sigma naught prime is smaller than the final, and it's also smaller than pre-consolidation pressure. So this means the clay, when you are loading, we are loading this clay, it stays on that recompression portion of the curve the entire time. So the final effective stress is still that smaller than the preconsolidation pressure. Okay. Uh, if you want to call the case number, this is case three. Okay. So for case three, clay stays on the recompression uh, curve. So the slope you are going to use is the recompression index CS. So we have okay. so your uh, preconsolidation settlement is H naught over one plus E naught okay. times. This is the recompression portion of the curve. So we're going to use the recompression index CS. Okay, so for case three, we're going to use CS. So that's 0 0.03 times log of sigma F, which is 1576 over 376. So this is basically CS, and this is sigma naught prime, and this is sigma F prime. Okay. And if you substitute uh, H naught, so H naught is 
the thickness of the entire consolidating layer, which is 20 in this case. Okay. And E naught is 1.1, that's given. So that's the initial void ratio. If you substitute these values, they will have point 0.178 feet. So that is a primary consolidation settlement due to that sandy few, that uh, added sandy few. And if you compare this number with example two, okay, so example two, remember same setting, same um, 20 feet of clay, same sandy few on top. So if you compare what we get for example two. Okay. So for example two, if you put the same loading on top, same 20 feet of clay, you get 2.8 feet of uh, consolidation settlement. For example, three, you get only 0.178. Okay. So this is less than one, one tenth of okay. So this value, if you compare, it's one tenth of that of example two. Okay. And this shows the over consolidated clay. So remember, this is an over consolidated clay. Okay, so you have the clay is over consolidated. So if we're loading an over consolidated clay, you're going to expect much less settlement. So that's why when you build something, you see people typically to want to preload the site because they want to bring the clay to over consolidation. So the over consolidated clays are typically much stronger, much stiffer. So it induce much less settlement for the same amount of loading on top. So this is uh, example three uh, where you are loading a pre or over consolidated clay layer. Okay. 